Okay, I'm going to do another cross piece, but it's going to be gold this time instead of white and pink. I'm going to embed it in the resin for the first layer. These are going to be some coasters. So I'm going to move this away for the moment. I'm going to do two ounces, an ounce in each coaster and each one holds two ounces so that would be halfway filled up and then I'm going to paint something on it and then seal it with the uh, flood coated resin. This is counterculture ebony dispersion. So I'm just going to put a little bit at the beginning. Dispersion colors are pretty strong so see that made it nice and black with just a drop of that bottle. I don't need any more. And then I've got some uh, holographic ultra fine. This is black. It kind of looks, you can see kind of rainbow colors, so it is black though. Again, that was dispersion color, ebony. This is Black Magic Chunky Glitter, which has a bluish purple uh, cast to it. This is not really chunky, it's probably a medium sized glitter. Kind of gives it a little bit of a bluish cast, which is really pretty. So I probably won't add any more than that. Next, my resin for six minutes, equal parts A and B. And I'm just going to split the resin between the two of them. Of course, you can't really see bubbles when you have. So these will sit overnight and I'll paint on them tomorrow. Be back. Okay, I'm going to paint on these black coasters. It's going to be fast forwarded. Possibility of all these colors and maybe some of them. Titanium white, bleach sand, true ochre, cadmium yellow, neon yellow, um, bright orange, scarlet, cherry red, alizarin crimson, electric pink, lavender, Irish moss, bluegrass green, lamp black, and dark chocolate. So let's get busy.
All right. Got some spillage. I gotta trim off. kind of a bluish purple it's called black magic and then that holographic glitter puts a little color in there that's really really fine and then so you see I've got a little over half is the black glitter resin. Let it cure and then I paint on top of it and then I put the clear coat and then remove it from the mold. So you don't unmold it until you're totally finished with it. That way there won't be any resin that leaks under uh, you know what you've poured into the mold. You want that to be a nice tight seal. So there they are. I hope you enjoyed watching and uh, I'll be back with more. Bye bye.